So I live in New York City and I absolutely love it there. It truly is the greatest city in the world. Of course, I love the city culture and the fast pace, but most of all, I love the convenience that the city offers. There are a million sources of entertainment, a variety of places to order prepared food or groceries, a huge metro network that allows me to travel anywhere and several options for in-person or virtual healthcare. The city is home to Lin-Manuel Miranda, John Oliver, and Lady Gaga. It has everything I need and I don't need to leave to get it. Which is extremely helpful as the inside of my brain looks like this. With this being said, when everything about self-quarantining to stop corona came out, I felt prepared as I already don't leave my apartment when I need medical attention, groceries, or even laundry. Now, I know that everything with the coronavirus will calm down and eventually things will get back to normal, but I'm curious, what would happen if I never left my apartment again? Initially, the first thing that would happen would be weight gain, and the formula for this is pretty simple. I would eat more food because I eat food when I'm bored like many people, and I would get less exercise because I'm limited to the space in my apartment instead of all of the city. The second thing is a bit more complex than that, and it would be a vitamin D deficiency. Vitamin D is actually created when sunlight comes in contact with cholesterol that's in our skin. This creates something called cholecalciferol. The cholecalciferol is then turned into calcidiol in the liver, and then into calcitriol into the kidneys. This is the form that allows us to maintain calcium balance all throughout the body. Even though calcium balance isn't something you regularly think of, it's super important. According to the Vitamin D Council, which is a council of scientists that study things about vitamin D, Vitamin D can help prevent chronic pain, depression, diabetes, hypertension, multiple sclerosis, osteoporosis, and even some types of cancer. However, having the deficiency in vitamin D has been linked to heart disease and cancers like colon cancer and breast cancer. The amount of vitamin D that one can make depends on their location, skin tone, and diet. Location by itself has a lot of variables. A place in the city or beside a large source of pollution will automatically receive less sunlight due to tall buildings and smog being produced. The time of day and season also can have a major impact on the amount of sun present in a location. Overall, you can find the most sunlight in a large open setting during 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. on a summer day. The second factor is the amount of melanin. Melanin is a natural pigment responsible for different hair colors and skin colors. Those with darker skin do not create as much vitamin D as those with a lighter skin tone. So with that being said, spending less time in the sun makes those with darker skin tones more likely to suffer from diseases that are linked with vitamin D deficiency. The last factor that affects the amount of vitamin D one has is their diet. Vitamin D can be found in foods like fish, dairy, and beef, and this makes obtaining vitamin D extremely difficult for vegans and vegetarians. However, if this is the case, there are supplements that can be taken instead. So in conclusion, me never leaving my apartment again isn't the best option, even if it's super convenient. For now, if you have the option to do so, see the sun even when practicing social distancing. And if not, talk to your healthcare provider about vitamin D supplements to make sure you stay healthy even in the midst of all of this chaos.